You're so cute. Let me see yourself. Yeah, Elliot is 13 months old tomorrow, I just realized. We're still working on walking, but he can take, like, he took seven steps in a row. It's gonna be a good day today. Just a random Thursday, so I thought I would film. Oh, I'm sorry, it's Wednesday. The milk is dripping off of you. <laughs> yeah. Can you say hi? See, I'm so cute. So yesterday was my cleaning day, so the house is very clean. All the laundry is done. What are you doing? Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Good job. I had to go to Costco yesterday because the diaper I used on Elliot this morning was our last diaper. So I went there last night right before closing and got a whole bunch of stuff. It's a good deal and I really like these diapers. $45 for 200 diapers. By the time he's done with this, it might be in the next size, but yeah, he's a size four. Hey. It's just playtime until brother wakes up. Oh no! Almost! <laughs> Very stuck. I need a basketball court to use this thing, huh? Yeah, he gets oh stuck again. <laughs> stuck again. Oh my god, 
got it first. <laughs> you know Jaycee, you're on the vlog. Look straight ahead. Jack kicks his football in the air. Go fetch. Oh, you want to see what's in there? <laughs> Who are you? Jojo. Jojo. Jojo worker man. Jojo worker man. Here's Elliot. I'm going to get a lot more apricots off the tree. So you can see there's a ton more. They're just super high up. Um, this bowl was full and we ate all of them. And uh, so yeah, it's been good. Last year I think we ate a total of four. So this year has been much better. And Elliot loves them. They just fall off the tree when they're ripe. So he just eats them. He loves them. All right, so let's get to picking. What are you doing? I can't come in here. Why? Oh, it's a little dusty for me. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll get out. Yeah, that's good. You got your safety stuff on? And then that can go over on that, okay. that area. It was cold. Is a basketball cold? No. No. Are shoes cold? No. No. Is ice cream cold? Yeah. Okay, circle the ice cream. But it's not cold. It's not cold? No. Yeah, ice cream is usually a little bit cold. So this is Joseph's math book, we call it. Again, JDA, I will link it down below. I think it was $10. Um, yeah, so this is only 50 of the like 100 pages. I printed it out that she did. So it's like draw a line to match the shapes. This is all stuff that he can do. Draw a line from the picture with three items to the number three. Um, I just have to give him like a little instruction, but he loves it. A lot of times when we're doing, I'm cooking or doing something, I set him up with this. So I need to make lunch for Stephen and Jace. For work and he's gonna be doing his math pages and this little guy's gonna be sitting here okay so let's color each circle blue yeah point to the circle which one is circle oh and then you do the squares purple yeah good job I like it okay so for lunch for the guys I packed chicken broccoli alfredo which I made last night I made it last night which is perfect because we had dinner last night, we're having lunch, and Joseph and Ellie and I, Ellie and I will have plenty for lunch as well. And then apples, and then these carrot chips. Carrot sticks, they're just literally carrots and salt. And some waters. Red. Okay, so this says circle all the items that are hot, and Joseph did a great job picking them. And then he said the apple needs to be red too, because apples are red, right? Yep. Yeah. All right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, you threw your pants and now they're stuck? All right, time to get the boys dressed. All right, dress baby number one, and dress kid number two. Now at some point in the day, mommy's gonna get dressed too. When should mommy get dressed? I try on this one and don't run for her. But find this. Of course, we gotta come out and see the trash truck. And it's Alfonso. Whoa. Best part of the day. Uh oh, he dropped something. Can you lift him up? Give him. Thank you, bye 
bye. Steven made this new outdoor storage area. Hey guys, me and Steven and Julia are out here. Just vlogging. Uh, June 1st, 2022. Yeah, we're just going to uh, what are you doing? go to a nice job here, a nice little kitchen. We just cleaned out the garage. Uh, there's a squad back there, and now we're gonna go to Jojo. Jojo! Yeah. Say hi to the camera. What do you want to say? Say something to him. Hi, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Jojo always says hi, Jamie, for some reason we don't even know. There's a random family passing by with the camera on them. They're waving at Steven, okay? Steven, what do you want to say to the camera? Guys, it's all about that grind mentality, you know? We just okay. gotta. <laughs> That's all. Peace out. Alright, so I think I'm gonna put Elliot down for a nap. It's like 9.45. This will be his one nap for the day. Um, but yeah, I feel like I've already filmed enough for like a 20 minute video and it's 9.45. So we'll see how the rest of the day goes. Let's see if we can get him down. Yes. Someone's hurt on the road. Someone's hurt on the road? Yeah. Okay, so he's got another five ounces and he'll probably, this will be his one nap. We'll sleep for. Hopefully two hours, we'll see. They're, they, oh, you set it all up. So they're, they're down in the road. Yeah. And then we gotta, we gotta help them. Fall down. Okay, okay, here we go. A week ago. They fell down weeks ago? Yeah, yeah. And that baby is. Right. So. Um, no, no, I mean, we need a stretcher. Oh, a stretcher? Yeah. Here. Stretcher? Yeah. Okay, help me carry him into the hospital to check if this, they have a heartbeat. This, yeah. If it's been weeks that they've been out on the this road. One, two, three. Can you do that? Yeah. Helps. One, two, one, two, three. Yeah, that helps with and the heart. I need a box. All right, so it's 11 o'clock. Elliot's been sleeping for about an hour. Not gonna lie, I crashed like we were playing and I was laying down on the floor and I just like fell asleep for five, 10 minutes and then I just let him watch so I'm curious, George, um, but now he's having this snack. So this is the Bomba's P Puffed Peanut and Corn Snack with Hazelnut Cream Filling. Super yummy. But yeah, I'm gonna go get dressed while he eats a snack. So while he just woke up from his nap, he slept for an hour and a half. Great job, buddy. He's happy. So that makes me happy. You wanna go outside because you see your brothers outside? What's that face? So I got dressed. I did my hair and makeup, more or less. I guess we'll just go play outside. I need to take out some succulents. Okay, let's go. Yeah. What are you thinking? Can you go move your apples and peanut butter, Jojo, so Ellie doesn't get it? Uh, are you hungry? Oh, he saw it. He actually ate really early, so he's probably hungry for lunch. I'll give him one of my apples. Okay. Oh, perfect. Okay, I'll put it in his mouth. <laughs> okay, so for lunch, we're having that pasta, which I reheated, and it looks delicious. And then I had these strawberries that were going bad, and this watermelon that I've been trying to push. And I know that if I serve them these like by themselves, they probably wouldn't eat them. But if I make a drink out of them, they will love it. So I hope there's enough water to like blend this in the watermelon. Let's see if it does anything. Watermelon and strawberry juice. Yeah, do you like it? Strawberry? Mm-hmm. Strawberry. Let me see. Try it. Yummy? Is this smoothie? It's a smoothie, yeah. All right, so we're all having our lunch. I like a lot of red pepper on mine. The watermelon smoothie. Elliot, he loves it. Watermelon is like his favorite thing. Joseph is reading to us. 
So I've been watching the uh, Amber Heard uh, Johnny Depp case. I feel so like dumb watching it all, but because um, I just don't. <laughs> I don't care about Johnny Depp at all. But I've been interested in the case just because something similar what? happened. Um, you know, very similar happened to my dad. <laughs> happened to my dad where he was accused of abuse and stuff that he didn't do and uh, no notice restraining order pulled out against him you know he couldn't see his kids because of that restraining order uh, it was just ruined his life ruined his reputation you know all based on lies and you know it's something that you know needs to be brought attention to the fact that you know someone can just go get an attorney to write something and get that restraining order and just ruin someone's life and um I think that you know we have a tendency to believe women because oh she's a woman like she can't, she can't be lying must be telling the truth but you know women lie men lie right. we're all capable of evil yeah. and uh, sinful people and I uh, just hope for more accountability <gasps> in the justice system you know because it's just terrible to have your life ruined like that it's like you can't the burden that he joined up must be carrying that I know my dad carried still carries you know in some ways my dad never got a trial, but you know, time, I think the truth comes out over time and that has happened, I feel like, for my dad, but you know, his life was, you know, to, to have people think you're an abuser to, for me, like have people think that I'm living with an abuser or whatever, it's painful and our teachers at our school thought that we lived with someone like that because that was what was written in court documents and it's just so demeaning and it's like, how do you that you want the truth to come out, but everyone's like, well, I don't know what happens behind closed doors. It's like, well, that didn't happen. <laughs> so it's it's painful and you never get that justice and you don't, there's just no, you can't reverse it. It's like taking toothpaste out of a toothpaste thing, you know, you can't put it back in once you've said something like that. So I hope that it, he gets justice. I don't know how this case will go or whatever, but I think already there's been more light shown on this topic. And, um, just the abuses that can happen and it's sad for people who actually do need a restraining order who actually are abused because it just I feel like is another like boy who cried, cried wolf situation um but yeah I've just been kind of invested because I'm like finally someone is held accountable for the lies and those selfish actions because uh it has to be done the, that's you need to be held accountable if you're going to do something that atrocious and ruin someone's life for your own gain, and whatever that may be. Shocking monster truck. Yes, chocolate monster trucks. Okay, we set out a little car washing. Jojo, that's a lot of dirt in there. I don't think we should wash that. Why don't you rinse that off first, okay? Go rinse it with the hose first and then bring it in the soap area. Mm. So, our one little apricot tree gives us this little bit of shade. And we're doing a little car washing in here. So we're fully in. We've committed. He's already sat down a few times. And what are you doing? That's like muddy water now. Let's not drink muddy water. He's very heavily in the eat everything, drink everything stage today. He put a clump of dirt in his mouth. Let go, let go. Turn it down, turn it down, turn it down now. So we regrouped. We Can took all the stuff out and got clean water and clean soap. All right, so we came inside. Elliot, got, he didn't need a bath, so I just changed his clothes and his diaper, and I had this around him because he was like freezing. And then I gave him some milk. So this is his third bottle of the day. So he had eight, five, and then this is another five. So he's had 18 ounces, and then I'll have another one before bed. So yeah, he's good. And then Joseph is taking a full bath. He requested one because we've been doing a bath with glow sticks. <laughs> but yeah, I've been very loosely trying to do this 10 weeks of summer fun schedule. I'll link it down below, it's free. Um, but yeah, it was take a bath with glow sticks, so we did that. It's just a lot. So I just use it as like ideas, like, oh, that sounds fun. Um, so it's like Science Sunday, Mix It Up Monday, Tasty Tuesday. When I need ideas, I'm gonna reference this. So 
we got all changed, we're ready for nap time. We can tell a story about the mouse. Okay. One day. It's okay, he can walk around. It's okay, he can walk around outside. He might, he might not want to hear the story. Joseph, careful. Scoop back, scoop back. Alright, so it is 2.20 and we attempted nap for Joseph and it just did not work out. Tried for like an hour going back and forth, getting in your bed, and so he's not tired. But I mean, he's just turned three, so like it's kind of normal to take a nap some days, not some other days. Um, I, put, I put Ellie down for a second nap, which I don't think he will take, but I always try to offer it still. But yeah, I'm gonna drink this. And then I need to take the I need to take some plants out of the ground. Are you gonna help me, Jojo? Yeah. You know the succulents? Yeah. I need to take them out because Daddy's gonna take that whole area out and put concrete. I also mean like one R, the did one. And also Daddy don't put concrete in the other one. Okay. The other pot, your pot. Well I had that big poems. I don't want Daddy to put concrete. Right. Mm, okay. Alright, so Elliot nap. said, Mommy, that's silly. No nap for me. No second nap. And I agree. So this used to be a planter bed too. And Stephen um, poured concrete because it was just so random and you couldn't like walk past here. Then this is random as well and you can't walk through. And yes, that's what he does on the regular. Alright, so we took all those plants out. I'll show it later if Stephen decides to work on it. But yeah, it's 2.50. Just feeling tired, it's really hot outside. And this is the kind of part of the day where I just feel like sluggish because no naps and everyone's still awake, but then everyone's like feeling tired and rubbing their eyes and being like crabby. And normally maybe I would like get out of the house right now, go do something. Um, I might go to my dad's office and like have him play with the toys there. Okay, that's a big bowl of Cheerios. You need to eat that in the in the kitchen, okay? Not here, because Elliot's gonna try to get it. You need to eat that in the kitchen. Just got himself a huge, massive bowl of Cheerios. You like looking at yourself? Yeah, so he burned his hand on a pan a few days ago. He grabbed the pan we were doing um, eggs in. We have pretty bad second degree burns on the show. Man. He does that every time then he puts it on his mouth. Yeah, I know. Oh, so for the this dresser thing, so this is the TV stand that Steve and I have had since we got our apartment. It was his parents. And then this is our dresser from Ikea. And this was always in our room, but then every time Elliot would be sleeping in our room, we'd be like, oh, we can't get our clothes out. And it was always so frustrating. And I was like, okay, enough of this. Put the dresser outside. So now we have our full-on dresser out here and that. And what we decided, because it's like so ugly, it catches junk. So we decided to get a different dresser from Ikea. I'll maybe insert a picture. So we'll use it as a TV stand. It's white. And we use it as a TV stand and a dresser. It has six drawers. And I ordered it from Ikea, and Steven is set to pick it up tonight between 8 and 9 p.m. And I'm selling this tonight. So yeah, I can get like this area back. It just feels like hasn't looked nice, you know? So it's gonna look super nice. I'm very excited. The boys are back. And they're doing the planner. All right, you got your safety glasses on? Okay, so for dinner I just made this taco meat. I made um, ground turkey with black beans, taco seasoning, a little salsa, and corn. And then I'm making rice, which has two minutes left, like a turmeric chicken flavored, I guess, rice. It's really yummy. Georgia, that's not yours. Yours is here. So, uh, and then I just have toppings. So it's basically like taco and rice bowls. 
Some little shredded chips, hot sauce, toppings. Here's the bowl. She's really good. <laughs> she's is really good. Ultra yumminess. All right, so we finished dinner and bad time for Elliot. He's got his jammies on, his sloth jammies. The bottle. <laughs> Gonna put some Neosporin on his hand. Say good night, Elliot. All right, Daddy, we're ready for the Neosporins. Okay, we are reading Curious George and the Birthday Surprise. Poor George, he did not mean to make such a mess. He had only wanted to help. Now, how could he clean up the sticky kitchen? I would hope that. Thank you. And then you're back, and you just say, no, I don't borrow my banana. Exactly. All right, Jojo, I love you. All right, so I got that dresser sold. Eighty buckaroos. And then Steven is picking up tonight the new dresser. So thank you so much for coming along with that very, very long day. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. So it was super messy last night when I recorded, but I cleaned up and I just love the way this dresser looks here. We put this little side table we have here, just put some pictures on it. I feel like it fits the room better. Now I can like maybe decorate, put something on the wall. But yeah, there we go. What's up guys? We're here vlogging the concrete. Here we got Steve Nolan. Wait, wait. Are you getting my good side, guys? <laughs> we got Steve. We got Trent. Jojo. Some beautiful concrete. <laughs> <laughs>